dozens of senators are in damage control mode today because they've got the Auditor General's report into their expenses. Now, the report will not be made public until next week, but CBC News has learned some of the damning details and whose names are being singled out for criminal investigation. CBC's Hannah Thibodeau is on the story live from Ottawa, and I know you've been working the phones, mm -hmm. getting details. Hannah, who are the senators facing the most scrutiny today? Well, two sitting senators of nine are going to be referred to the RCMP. Now, the first one, late last night, it's Conservative Senator Pierre Hugues Boisvenu. He stepped out of the Conservative caucus. He will sit now as an independent. He says his reason be behind this is because he found out he was being investigated by the RCMP. He was appointed by Stephen Harper and Ironically, Boisvenu was also a spokesperson for the Harper government when it came to law and order issues in Quebec. So now he currently sits as an independent in the Senate. The other current sitting senator is uh, liberal, uh, Senate liberal uh, Colin Kenny. He was appointed to the Senate back in 1984 by Pierre Trudeau. He, uh, we don't know how much either uh, are in trouble for and whether they have paid any back. Now, I had a chance to speak with Colin Kenny's office, uh, asked what will happen to him. Is he going to set, uh, step aside to sit as an independent? Uh, anything of that sort. All his office would say is that they're waiting for the process to unfold that is undergoing underway currently in the Senate, but wouldn't give any further information to that. Uh, but there are also seven others who are going to be referred to authorities. Two of them are conservative and five are liberals. So we've confirmed the names of those others whose expenses will likely be reviewed by the RCMP. Who are they? Yeah, let's go through that list. Uh, of course, I mentioned the two sitting senators already. Here are the other seven. Rod Zimmer, who was appointed by uh, former liberal prime minister, Paul Martin, Bill Romke, he was appointed by uh, Jean Chrétien, Rosemarie lossier cool a Chrétien appointee, Marie Paul Charette Poulin, appointed by Chrétien as well, and Sharon Carstairs, appointed by Chrétien. The two Conservatives on the list, Don Oliver was appointed by Brian Mulroney and Jerry St. Germain was a Mulroney appointee as well. All of those that I just mentioned of the seven have either retired or resigned. Now, why are they in so much trouble? trouble? Because what CBC News is hearing is that the number amount, the uh, dollar amount to their issues, to their expenses is really high. And in fact, one senator is telling CBC News that the numbers will in fact blow people's minds because they're that high. What we've learned so far too is that 50 copies of the Auditor General's report have already been delivered to the Senate. We also know that the Prime Minister's office is expected to receive a copy of the Auditor General's report. And what will happen with that report, why they're getting it now, is because they're preparing talking points. We know that the a report will only be made public on Tuesday. However, the government, as well as the Senate, is going to prepare talking points so that they're ready to go when it's released to the public on Tuesday. Lots to watch. Thank you, Hannah. CBC's Hannah Thibodeau in Ottawa.